Good morning and welcome. It's still good morning, Anambra Show. And uh, this time around, um, uh, we are here to really look at some issues that affect us as uh, humans and as uh, Nigerians, uh, so to speak. You're welcome. Yeah, good morning, India Anambra. Well, it's here. Good morning, Anambra. We're here to give you all the necessary things that you need. Don't touch that dial. Stay tuned and be enjoyed. All right, my name is Nonye Mokoye. And I'm Ajulu Chukwu Kabwe. All right, quickly, it was in uh, September or thereabouts that uh, Nigerians woke up. You know, every day we have uh, policies, a lot of policies here and there. They woke up to say they are going to ban the eating of Bomo. And here this morning we have a dietitian in the studio uh, to look at the topic ban on the use of uh, more to grow the economy, which is the reason the, the Nigerian government gave as banning it. Now, you're welcome to the studio, Dr. Ngozi Okoye. Good Thank to you. have you here. Thank you. All right. Now, Ma, what was your reaction when you heard about this uh, banning of Bomo, which everybody knows that majority of Nigerians enjoy the staple food. Thank you. Actually, when I, I heard it, it depends on what the government have in mind, because you know this poma is a delicacy. Yeah, most Nigerians enjoy it, mm. you know, and it's in, in, in almost all the homes, you've seen this uh, poma be, being cooked, because um, the, the, the Yoruba people are the people that call it poma. Mm. Then the Igbos call it kanda. kanda. Uh -huh. The Igbo people now call it skin or hide. Do you understand me? So, but economically, Nigeria, uh, Nigerian government can still benefit from that uh, skin of uh, animals. But not all of them are consumer, uh, consumable. Because probably maybe their reason for banning it is that uh, most of them uh, uh, used by the industries are treated with chemicals. I know these chemicals are hazardous to human beings. So probably maybe that is one of the reasons or their reasons for banning it. But do you think it's necessary or it's important for the government to ban Bomo? Uh, actually, if the government wants to ban Bomo, they have to ban those ones that are used by industries because the industry uses a particular chemical to process that Bomo. I know for this unscrupulous merchants, for them to maximize their profits, they now see that people go, the majority of populace go for that poma, they now try to import it. If those people that are buying don't know actually the health hazard of that, do you understand me? So now see problem, maybe that was why the government, or that is why government now say, for them to cause problem for these populace, it's better for them to ban it. Mm. But if those of them that are being, like when you kill like, a fresh cow, you now consume that. It's not all that hazardous. But you know this poma, because mostly you, you, when, when uh, this uh, poma are being sold, it's not only those from the cows. You see them selling those from the buffaloes, those from the, what do you call, donkeys and camels. Mm. And I learned some people don't, uh, like when you go to the north, the donkey eat these donkeys or camels. So those ones from there are not good for people to consume. Oh, yeah, that's so. But even before the ban of Pomo, much, much earlier, people were, nutritionists like you were saying that Pomo has no nutritional value. Hence the need to ban the eating of it. And rather that government should now resort to making money out of it. Because there are countries that are making good income with the sale of rubber from animals. Countries like Argentina, Italy and the rest of it. So what's your take on the issue that there is no even nutritional value in it? So there's nothing we are even losing if government bans it. I think we are losing something because if government bans Poma, yeah. apart from being consumed by human beings as foods, what of the leather, as you said? Yeah. Because when government brings down, imposes this, uh, uh, this skin and processes it industrially, they can use it to make shoes. They can use it to make this upholstery that we are sitting on. They can use it to make all sorts of things. And thereby yielding economy, or the economy of the government will now be improved. That the money they get from that, they will now add it to the uh, development of the, 
that is of the country. They're talking about diversification of the Nigerian economy. And being, being that Nigeria has a lot of cattle, so what's the need eating it when we can make money? That's why government is coming with the idea of banning it. How many people are producing cattle? Is it not only in the north? It, what of fear in the could, east? Could, that's a business. It could not be a viable business that people elsewhere can invest in. Okay, let's, let's look at it this way. You are a dietitian. Let us know if uh, Bomo is nutritional. Is it nutritional to the body? Yes, it is. There are some, some, some of the scientific background. There did some, some of the yeah, analysis. They now found that nutritionally, it is of some benefits. It has some uh, nutritional benefits. Take for example, when you eat only poma, it is not all that nutritional benefit. They have to add some certain food because it's not all that rich in protein. Do you understand me? But we, uh, we, like uh, we women, when we could, uh, what do you call it, this poma in the house, and you allow it to cool, you see some sedimentation of fats on top of the, when it cools, okay. you see so, some sedimentation of fats on the, on the, on the poma or in the pot there. That fat is saturated fat. And when you now eat this fat, it goes into the body to cause one problem or the other. Hmm. So it is not all advisable to eat it, but if you want to eat it actually, you have to add some, maybe crayfish, maybe other source of protein to improve the nutritional value of that. Or even if you want to eat poma, try to remove those fatty areas because we know nutritionally that all the animal skins, that is where you have a lot of deposition of saturated fats. And these saturated fats are not healthy. But if you are going to consume it, it should not be always be consumed. At least it has to be rarely consumed. Okay, really. But, uh, 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 those of them also analyzed, because I'm talking on scientific evidence, they now see that there is, it contains some iron, little iron and zinc, okay. and little of magnesium. Okay. All these and calcium, they are also good for health. So you can't just extract it like that or reject it entirely like that. But it should not always be consumed. That is where I stand on my own. Okay. It should not always be, be consumed. consumed. Okay, now talking about this, Momo, we know that everybody, if, let's say 90% of Nigerians eat Momo, you know, is there a particular way to prepare it to get the desired and nutritional values that one needs for health and wealth, well being? Thank you. Yes, well, most, most people go for that is that one is poverty. Because the, uh, the, the skin of the animal, when you compare with the red meat, the cost, if I see that the red meat, the cost of the red meat is greater than that one. Okay. Two. Then, another word is that when you want to cook poma, cook it very well, let it be very tender. And when you cook, cook it to be very tender, add all those nutritional items, let it be balanced. And what do I mean make, making it to be like? Add something like vegetables and all whatnot. You can also add meat. Take, for example, you want to use it to cook a goosey soup or cook, uh, what do you call it, okpaka and all whatnot. And you know that okpaka is rich in oil. And that oil is essential because okpaka is seed. And the oil in okpaka, the fat in seed is a, 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 a unsaturated fa a, a, a fatty acid and is also beneficial to health. So at least all these things will now reduce. And when the poma is well cooked, it will now give you what you need. Is there a possibility that we might be seeing poma off the staple meal in Nigeria in the nearest future, based on all that you've said so far? Based on what? Based on all that you've said, based on what government stands and what you've said, based on the nutritional value you're talking about. I don't think in the near future it will go off entirely if I understood your question. <laughs> So that means Bomo has come to stay. <laughs> <laughs> in a way, it has come to stay. But for government and ban it, I, I, it is impossible. I, you do understand? It is very, very impossible. But what I'm saying, it depends on the reason the government has for them to ban it. And I said earlier on, probably their reason is this, because the industries, they apply a particular, they are doing the processing. For those of them that use as leather or bag or whatever, yeah. they will now apply a particular chemical. And this merchant will now push this thing into the system. I personally, I don't buy Pomo to eat. Do you understand? But when you go into the, we see so many of them being sold in the, and I don't believe it's only the cows 
that are pushed down to the eastern part of, that you see all there. This. I learned that some of these are imported mm -hmm. from either Lebanon, from Turkey, and all what now. And you don't know which one that is camel skin. Yeah. You don't know which, which one is buffalo skin. You don't know those ones that are treated with chemicals and all what now. Probably this is why the government now choose to protect this, the health status of his uh, 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 populace and don't want that, one, that thing to cause any hazardous. And when you continue to eat those things, it can predispose somebody to either liver disease, heart disease, hmm. cardiovascular, even kidney problem. So probably these are why, because before something is done, they must have researched into the or they gone in. They just can't wake up one early in the morning and say, I banned this, I banned that. Maybe they have sent people into the system. Because there was a time, now that, I don't, this, that was 2015 on the day, also came up and said that they don't want that POMA to be imported again. Because this industrial POMA that are being imported are chemicals are used to process them. All right, now we, let's digress a bit, you know, from your dietitian work. It is now clear that some of these momos are imported. And uh, we have a government that is saying they are banning POMO. We have borders where government officials are posited to check this uh, influx of goods and services into the country. And over the years, we know how it's been with importation in this nation that some people can bring in anything into Nigeria. <coughs> you know, don't you think that government that is saying that they are banning POMO should start from the borders? Don't you think so? I think that is why they now have this staff dag. National, uh, what do you call it? National. And drug and, uh, and that is why they have this. And they are the people, maybe when they see this thing, they take it to the lab to analyze, to know the uh, 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 beneficial effect. No, no, uh, what I'm trying to say is burning, burning pomo for people not to eat it in Nigeria. in Nigeria. Don't you think it is supposed to start from the borders where they have their officials? You know, let them stop pomo from entering Nigeria so that when we start there, and our people may be, you know, people that wouldn't want to stop, maybe consuming the ones here. Yeah. Before, when they are done with that, they will now come in to begin to check the ones here. It depends on the government, what, how they want to let government, as you are saying, so let go down here and start from the borders to stop them. <laughs> so I'm, not the go I, I'm not there at the seat of affairs to come mm -hmm. and say, the, to, to send the border, uh, what do you call it? The... Um, the security or whatever, security, yeah, what you yeah. call it, to be there at the border. Mm. Government has given instructions, so it's not left for them to do or carry out the instructions that have be, that been given to them. All right, the program is, good morning, Anambra. We are looking at ban on the use of Pomo uh, to grow the economy. Please, the program is audience participatory. We expect you to call in and make your own opinion count or ask any question of interest to you. Now, we still have in the studio Dr. Ngozi Okoye, a dietitian. Now, Doc, is there any way to find out that a particular omo uh, is uh, industrial kanda? Is there any way we can find out so that, so that when we go to, or for the benefit of those watching, watching us, yes, when, when so they go to the market, the they will know this one is industrial, this one is not industrial. Can we really find out? My sister, I don't know if there's any way to find that. Just, I've just said that she said this to another bit. The only thing I know that they have uh, two, uh, two ways of uh, preparing or two types of pomo. There's the one they call the uh, white pomo and the one they call uh, brown pomo. Mm. So the white pomo is just the, uh, the, the head dry. This. So what they do shaving. They just shave it. Okay. That is why the color is white. Uh, the color of the pomo is white. The brown one is that they use either uh, one you call, uh, 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 subject it to fire burning. Okay. So when it now gets burnt, they try to uh, scrape off the, the, the back of the bomber and it, 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 it turns brown. And that, in that way, they have to soak it in water for hours. And after they soaked in water for hours, they now go on, uh, uh, cook it to be tender, for it to be soft and consumable. So for you to ask me whether is there, then I, I don't know. Okay. Uh, Unless uh, when you go to the market, you know, I, even those people saying, I don't know whether they know. All right, Doctor, quickly. Doctor. Sorry, Doctor. quickly, we have to go on break now. Okay. Now the program will come back shortly. <coughs> Let's feel the pulse of the masses on the issue uh, we are looking at. Let's see. We'll be back shortly.
anytime government has any uh, government policy, it must affect some people and it will benefit some people. So for this one now, I like it because people are taking what will not add anything to their life. In fact, it's actually a waste. So if what is a waste can be useful, it's, but it's better that we ban it and uh, use it. Then those, those people that are using it to make money, they, will, they can find another thing. Maybe the same government can help them and do uh, maybe leather business. It will help the economy to grow because it will help the economy to grow. It will help uh, man, uh, people who are who are doing business with uh, leather. Maybe we can we can go into producing of leather and export it. Then we will we'll have a chance of getting a foreign uh, uh, money to Nigeria. It will help our economy. The burning of Pomo, our what we normally call Kanda down here, is. Um, to the populace, uh, it, it is a very negative thing. Looking at uh, the masses, most of the masses doesn't afford um, the normal meat, and uh, they used to go for such type of meat for their home use in terms of cooking. So um, when you look at it from that angle, you will find out that. Um, the masses are going to see it in a negative way. But on the other way around, what I think the federal government is trying to do is because this uh, Kanda or Bomo does not have any neutral, uh, nutrients on national value, uh, they want to see if we uh, generally can stop consuming it so that it can be channeled into uh, producing of uh, 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 stuffs like uh, uh, bags, shoes and uh, uh, leathers in every kind of uh, all sorts. So um, looking at it is a good policy but um, uh, when you consider the economic hardship in Nigeria today, you should allow people eat their bomo because um, you find it difficult they find it difficult to find food to eat and when they finally get they should have something that, that will be in there so that uh, it will look like uh, uh, something uh, like meat but well, as you all know it's um so it's poor man poor man's meat yeah. let me use it that word we know very well that so many families doesn't have enough money to buy meat so most times they use pomo to complement their soup or their dishes. So burning it, I don't see anything. I don't see any improvement or any adding up to our economy. Because uh, from right from right from my childhood, I knew that pomo has been has been has used to be served in meals and by then I don't, I don't think if federal government realize that it's been used new so if then when Momo has been used to serve as meat and that then our economy economy was very okay you see now that economy our economy was bad and now they want to ban it. You know, say this part now it go hard because if the federal government ban this for more of it in, number one, it, it will make life harder for the poor masses like us. Uh, people will not get money to buy meat and also it, it will also increase the high rate, the price of the belt which yeah. makes things more easier. So I think that, that ban with the with banner is not good. It's not good for yeah, the poor masses. It's not good for as in Nigeria as a whole. Okay. What uh, about the impact it will have on our economy? Oh yes, definitely it will have a huge impact. At least it will have a way to contribute, let me just say, 10 or 50 percent to the Nigerian economy, mm -hmm. which you know will help to develop our nation Nigeria. So it will have and also it's gonna impact more on economically and otherwise, you know what I mean? Yeah. So you know it's it's I think the federal government should have a rethink 
not if, if, if there's a way they can use the word unban they should unban it and make it a free license yeah Welcome back. You've heard the pulse of the masses, and then they were split down the middle. Some were saying the Momo should be banned, and while others were saying that, what will this, the common man eat when you take Momo off the, the table? Well, we are still here in Good Morning Anambra talking about the ban of Momo to grow the economy. Dr. Ngozi, you heard what most of the people there said, you understand? Uh, rightly before we went on that break, we were talking about uh, Bomo and then she was asking, how do you differentiate between the imported and then the, the locally sourced one? The question I want to ask is, I've seen where Bomo is being taken care of, treated in the market, and sincerely speaking, if you see the process, you won't like to buy. Because some people use um, tire, condemned tire, you understand, as, as a fi fire or a catalyst to ignite the fire so that it will be hot, then you now put the bomo on it. How healthy is that? You just said it, it's not healthy now, because those things can penetrate into that skin. Like when I was uh, doing my literature review, it, you know, initially, I personally thought, or had it in mind that bomo is not nutritional. But when I was doing my literature review, I now found out that from two people, that it is nutritional. It has some nutritional value. But you don't compare the initial value to that of pure meat, like red meat. You know why some people run out from, or go towards, uh, is that run out from uh, red meat, and they try to go towards, because they thought that Poma does not have any health, health hazard. But I've enumerated the health, some of the health hazards Poma has. So in, uh, um, now, uh, they, will not, they will not go for that Poma. And as you rightly stated, where you go, uh, one of the school of thoughts now said that he, he was director for Nigerian Institute for Leather Science and Technology. He is of the opinion that this promo should be banned. Oh, he, okay, a lot of people have called that this promo should be banned. Please, our can, time can is fast. Can, can I finish up? I, as you're finishing up, you give us solution what government can do, you know, mm -hmm. maybe trying to, as a substitute for the masses. Okay. So, he, he is of the opinion that why the Poma, that most of them, the way that it's been so, uh, processed, even locally, that most of them can, might can have some, uh, some, most of this bacteria on the skin. And the, some of the bacteria, when you subject, it, subject them to cooking, the temperature might not kill those bacteria. And when somebody consumes that, it might not uh, be harmful to the person. So in conclusion, as you now told me, the government, if they really want to ban Poma, maybe those of them that are being imported, and they don't know those, how those, those of them are. The rent of cattle should not only be limited to northern part of the country. It has to step down to southern part, even western part of the country, so that there will be increase of this. And when people are eating, they know that those ones that are consuming are within the environment. All and right. again, I'm coming. Again, those of them that are the slaughters that are... Uh, um, uh, processing this, uh, what do you call it, Poma of a thing. They should not use kerosene or engine oil to burn Ignite those Poma. The light, all right. We can go on and on, but sorry, time <laughs> is no longer a friend here. In trying to ban one thing, there is need to make an alternative. That's mm -hmm. the final submission from yes. Dr. Ngozi Okoye here, our dietitian. Thank you so much for being here this morning. Thank you. It's our pleasure to have you here. Yeah. And that's just about it on the ban of uh, ban on the use of Bomo uh, in order to grow really the economy. economy. That's how it's been. My name is Nonyang Wokuye. Thanks for your time. Thank you too for watching. <laughs>